Hello friends, in the previous videos, we looked at a few numerical integration methods such as trapezoidal method, simplex one-third rule and simplex three-eighths rule. In this video, we are going to look at a new method called Gauss quadrature two-point formula. Our objectives are to numerically integrate a function using Gauss quadrature two-point formula. Gauss quadrature two-point formula is an efficient method compared with other methods such as trapezoidal or the simplex one-third and three-eighths methods in general based on the number of points chosen. The Gauss quadrature two-point formula strategy is as follows. If you look at figure one, we want to integrate the function f of x between the limits a and b. So the f of x is represented by a curve. When you use this trapezoidal method, for example, we approximate the curve between these two points using a straight line as shown, a straight dotted line. So the area under the curve is represented by the hash under the straight line. So this represents the area under the curve. But we can see there is uh, some error associated between the area under the curve and the area under the straight line. So to avoid, to eliminate this error, um, the procedure for Gauss quadrature is as follows. We pick those two points judiciously and we draw a straight line through this as shown in figure 2. Now the area under the curve, under the straight line, reflects closely to the area under the curve because the area below the straight line and the curve and the area above the straight line and the curve these are the positive and negative areas. They cancel out each other closely. So the area under the straight line, the Gauss quadrature method, is more close to the area under the curve. So going back to this uh, two-point formula, we have i equals integral a to b f of x dx which is equal to sigma i equals 1 to n ci f of xi, which is equal to b minus a over 2 times sigma i equals 1 to n ci f of ti. For the two-point formula, we have c1 equals c2 equals 1 and the t1 equals negative 1 over root 3 and t2 equals 1 over root 3. These are the Gauss quadrature points. To illustrate this uh, Gauss quadrature two-point formula, we'll do an example in MATLAB. We would like to integrate the function f of x shown here between the limits a equals 0 and b equals 0 0.8. The value obtained an analytically is 1.640533. So the MATLAB code for the uh, Gauss quadrature two-point formula is given here. The function f of x to be integrated is shown here. And we need to evaluate the parameters m, which is equal to b minus a over 2, and c equals b plus a over 2. Then we represent x equals m times t plus c. Now we have to replace uh, x by mt plus c and create a function f of t in the above function f of x. So once that is done, we have i equals m times the sum of c i times f at t i. Here a equals 0 and b equals 0 0.8 and c1 and c2 are given as 1 
and t1 and t2 as negative 1 over square root of 3 and positive 1 over square root of 3. The Gauss quadrature formula is coded here. Once we run this, we get a value of i equals uh, 1.822578. Our exact value has been 1.640 and so on. But we only pick two points. With the, when By selecting two points, uh, the accuracy is still not too bad with the Gauss quadrature two-point method. To summarize, in this video, we presented Gauss quadrature two-point formula to numerically integrate a function f of x. The result obtained using Gauss quadrature two-point formula is comparable in magnitude to a four-segment application of the trapezoidal rule or a single application of Simpson's one-third and three-eighths rule. So Gauss quadrature formula yields more accurate solutions than the trapezoidal and Simpson's rule in general based on the number of points chosen and is an efficient method. In the next video, we can look at a Gauss quadrature four-point formula which will which can provide more accurate solutions. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, please post it. I will be uploading the code into your website. Uh, you can look at that in the YouTube video, YouTube section. Thanks.